This is the classroom decoration I am most excited for. The class is a lot more socially distanced than it was in my last video, but unfortunately I'm going to have 28 students in the class so there's no way that I can offer complete social distancing. For today I'm going to decorate my bulletin boards, I'm going to finalize where all the furniture is going to go, I'm going to start decorating, hang my plants, hang all of the wall hangings that I have. As much as I want my classroom to be socially distanced, I also want it to be a good learning environment. What I'm going to try to do is have the entire class socially distanced and have them as spread apart as possible. But if you think about it, the front of the class, it's not like people can be up against the smart board. And so there is going to have to be a space along the front of the class. So that's where I'm going to try to cram in all my furniture. I might have to get rid of one of my cabinets. I am going to have the front of the class at least look like a classroom. I'm going to try to make it as aesthetic as possible and try not to make it look too crammed. What I'll be looking at so the students and all the desks will be completely separated with no clutter at all. So that's kind of my method in going in today. Yeah, so let's get started. I haven't worked on decorations at all. They've all been crammed in these two storage cabinets and I'm so excited to break out the storage cabinets and get everything out and everything hanging and up in the classroom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull everything out and that way I can kind of see everything I'm working with and put it back in a more organized way. And then I'm also going to get rid of one of these storage units just so there'll be less furniture. I kind of crammed everything in here at the end of last year. So it's kind of all just a little bit chaotic. And here's the other cabinet. Let's get everything out. I have two bulletin boards. I have this bulletin board up here that's going to say our fridge. And I'm gonna put up student work up there. And then I have this bulletin board over here and that one is going to say class expectations, which I don't have officially in print what our expectations are. We had them in a meeting this week, but as soon as I get those, I'll print those up and have a couple classroom expectations. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that bulletin board right there. That took longer than expected, but I don't like to put borders around the edge of my bulletin boards, and I feel like this looks like a lot cleaner and a lot less like schoolish. I just have to get the edges exactly correct. I got this, it's a reusable bulletin board from Hobby Lobby. It's nice because you can like use a thumbtack and take it out and it kind of like meshes back and you can't really see the thumbtack spot anymore. I had a bulletin board in my last class and I just brought it over and it was really easy to staple on my other bulletin board, so I would recommend this. Around the edge of my bulletin board, I'm going to put this green leaf looking stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I got these from Walmart. I think they were like a dollar and nine cents a piece. But I like the distressed look of them. But instead of gluing these, I thought about hanging a piece of burlap string from them and hanging it from the top of the rail up here. So I don't have burlap here, but I have some at the house. So I think I'm gonna come back and do that next time. So I just moved the storage cabinet over here in this corner. So this is the classroom decoration I am most excited for. I just think it's gonna look so cute. I again made all these signs and they're all eighth grade standards. And so it'll be shifted up on the wall, but it's still gonna be in a straight line like that. And then underneath the straight line, there's going to be a bunch of this greenery over here. So a bunch of these greeneries hanging from it. And I think it'll look cute, but eee, I'm excited. Ta-da! 
today is Saturday and the reason I wanted to do this on Saturday is one because all week we've had meetings and we've been preparing of what to do virtually, what happens if we all go virtual and just doing a lot of building online canvas courses and having meetings and making plans to make it as safe as possible. So I haven't really had a lot of time to decorate which is why I came in today on a Saturday. Another reason was because to put the screws in here I didn't want to be like drilling when there were teachers next to me recording their videos in six days. I'm gonna have students in this classroom. It makes me feel a little bit anxious because I don't feel prepared neither in my classroom nor to have a comprehensive quality virtual course available to students. I just want to let all the teachers out there know that you're not in this alone and in future years we're gonna be better teachers because we're gonna be better with technology, better at dealing with difficult circumstances. I got this tree at Habitat for Humanity for $10 but I feel like the basket makes it look really old-fashioned so I have this basket to put it in instead. I am about to leave and my class is looking so bad. There's just stuff everywhere. I'm trying to get rid of one of these cabinets and that means a lot of organizing and throwing away and that just takes a lot of time. But I guess that's all for this video and I'll see you guys next time.